And good morning, it's Seth. I am so happy that you're here with me. I am in the hotel lobby, and so you may hear a little bit of music and um, people, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to pray and come before God. I pray that you've had a wonderful week. Not only have you had a wonderful week, but that God has met you in each step of your life this week. I want to talk to you this morning about God's timing. This first quarter, I wanted to do so much. Um, I had focused on being called to the ministry. I felt God had given me that. I focused on healthy and whole marriage conferences, jumping out to a wonderful start this year, and that our organizations, Damien and I, our organizations are taking off, and the books that we've written are doing well. And all of these things were great on 2023, but as we come into 2024, things weren't going in the way that I desired them to go. I can't speak for Damien. However, that's the way I felt. And also, our children had gone to school for the first time this year, both of them. So now my wife can explore her interests and things that she wanted to do. However, things in our timing are always different from God's timing. So I want to talk briefly about God's timing today. As I entered in today, God's timing is a little bit more defined, I would say, than our timing. Because we had these thoughts of things that we wanted to do. So I just wrote out a little bit. I just want to read to you that something that I wrote this morning. And then uh, we're going to pray. But God's timing refers to the belief that God's had a specific plan for your life. And not only does he have a specific plan for that, but the idea that everything happens for a reason. So although I wanted things to work out in my time and God timing, is very different from mine. I'm coming to this from a business perspective. As a business perspective, first quarters are very much important. It sets the tone for the entire year. However, God's timing is that we depend in and upon him, that we focus on him, that we give him the glory, that we give him the praise. And the most important part of it is that we surrender I'll say that word again, that we surrender our will to his and say, Lord, not my plans, but your plans. And actually, there's a scripture that I want to read to you in Proverbs 19 and 21. And ironically, our children read this scripture every day in February. And as they were reading it, clearly I wasn't internalizing it because my focus was is that, man, Lord, you're not moving fast enough in my situation. Here it is. Proverbs 19 and 21 says this. Many are the plans in a person's heart. But it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Listen, that, rev that verse reminds me that although I have uh, many plans, ultimately God is going to get the glory. Ultimately God is going to get the praise for the things that he does. So we must pace ourselves. I'll say it again. We must pace ourselves to his timing if we don't want to become frustrated. I will tell you honestly, I have been frustrated. And then I went back into those prayers that I've been asking God for and said, Lord, why haven't these things turned out in the way that I wanted them to? Oops, I wanted them to. And God is saying, that's not my timing, son. And so it's important for us to surrender to God's timing. And as we surrender to his timing, I want to encourage you that God will not fail you, that you can guarantee that he will come through for you, but you must trust him. Let's pray towards that today. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, and we bless your name, oh God, that your word is true, oh God, and that we can stand in and upon your word, God, as we come about this day, this Saturday, that we've never seen. God, I pray this morning, God, that you will lead us in your will and in your way. God, I don't take it for granted of how you have blessed over the course of this week, oh God, and how you have given salvation. And God, what you will do in and through us, even on this day, God, I pray that you will give us the focus, oh God, to trust you. Lord, I believe that's really what it comes down to, oh God, as we're looking into life and abundantly and wanting to do things, oh God, and even things for you. God, it comes to this, that you must get glory out of our lives. God, not us, not my will, but thine will, God. So God, I pray this morning, God, that you encourage us to seek you in a way and say, Lord, have your way in my life. Lord, give me your guidance. Give me your direction, God, rather than solely relying on my own plan.
hands, God. We know that we can faith some things, some things that we can talk about, oh God. But some things need to be simply put into your hands. I would say all things. But focused on trusting in you, oh God, and the purpose in you, oh God, and growing in you. And as we grow in those things, oh God, I pray that you will bring things to pass in our lives. God, that we won't feel like we're missing time. We won't feel like we've left something, oh God. But we're trusting in Almighty God. God, the difference a lot of times that I, I think about this prayer, oh God, the difference in my timing and your timing is that, Lord, everything I want to do, I want to do it. But God, when you show me and, and give me what to do, oh God, it looks different. And sometimes I don't want to do it because simply it looks different, oh God. So I pray today, God, even when things look different for us, even when we're frustrated because things are not going in the way that we want them to go, oh God, I pray that we will trust you and trust you abundantly, oh God, knowing that you knew our plans from the beginning, oh God. You knew us, hallelujah, in our mother's womb, oh God. And since you knew us in our mother's womb, that you know you have the thoughts and the focus of what will happen and what will transpire every day of our lives, oh God. Lord, we give you glory and we give you praise and we give you honor, oh God. And Lord, I'm saying this even from my perspective, that I'm going to trust you from this day forward, God. I won't lean on to my own understanding. Lord, I won't get anxious about the things that I don't see, oh God, simply because they're not working out in my time, God. But I will trust you and I will trust you in this way, that I will give up everything that I want for your desires, oh God. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise, even from a hotel lobby this morning. Have your way in and through us. God, help us not to be ashamed, even as we come into your timing, oh God. Lord, that we can profess to people that, nope, it didn't happen in my time, but that's how I know God is so good. That's how I know God is in this thing, because I wanted to do it last year. I wanted to do it last month, God, but you were the one to bring it to pass so quickly. And God, I thank you, oh God, for the patience that we will exercise over the next coming days, weeks, and months, oh God, years even. God, as we come into the purpose of you, oh God, I pray that you will manifest what it is that you have for us, oh God, in your timing. And while you're manifesting that thing, oh God, that we will be patient children unto you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise today for all things. It's in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Well, people of God, I'm giving you what God has given me. It is time for us to depend on the timing of Christ. Not our timing, but his timing. And I believe this. If you depend on his timing, then God will never leave you nor forsake you. He won't allow you to fail. But do you trust him enough with your plans? Well, as we leave this place today, Father God, go with every person that will be here. Go with every person that is here with us this morning, God. I pray that you will give them the focus that's necessary, oh God, to trust you, oh God. And God, even as they go about this day, God, the plans that they've made, God, I pray that they will turn those plans over to you. And as they turn those plans over to you, oh God, that you will lead them and that you will guide them in your will and your way for their lives. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, until next time, be healthy, be whole, be blessed is my prayer for each of you. I look forward to joining you all next week.